So it's early Sunday morning and uh, gonna go and have a look at this TVR that I found. Um, quite a long way, it's about two hours away from me. Uh, a bit of negotiation to go do on the price still. And obviously I need to check the condition. Uh, although I've had lots of photos, I've seen chassis, which looks great because it's just all been re, uh, redone, um, restored. Um, it's just the engine, the EFI system, which uh, needs some attention. Apparently it runs, but it ran, runs like a bag of nails, uh, but it does run, engine's all good because he said he's done the bottom end, etc. So I need a bit of proof of that and uh, get some more information. So long drive ahead, ready to go in the uh, Toyota Alpha 3 litre V6. having a little look to start the front. So yeah the front bumper definitely needs to respray. Lights are secure, no cracks. Oh that no, one's not so secure. No cracks in them. Normally there is a rubber seal that goes around this front bumper to the front here I'm sure. Let's just have a look underneath. It's clearly had some new radiator at some point. You can see the chassis. There is looking. Recently uh, looked after. It looks pretty clean under there actually. Let's continue on then. This is a minor difference to the gap in on the front pop up head like that. Sorry, that's. Oh, that one's secure, the bottom fog light, which is different to the other. Yeah, the front bumper definitely needs spray. Need a little add on the uh, scoops. Quite a common thing, these bonded windscreens get cracked. The top's not in great condition, because so that needs redoing at some point. Down the side of the car. Oh, these mirrors have seen better days, haven't they? The Firestone tires, they look right, alloys. Mm. Oh, they like being sprayed. They look too bad, actually. Like... Again, red paint. I did ask him where that red paint came from, but. Well, that is the exhaust. <laughs> the underneath does look pretty clean. That's, I think, where the fuel pump is. Which is saying that you changed. That is exhaust, though. Wow. <laughs> Talk about Asbo Special. Asbo Special. Asbo Special. Uh, right up my street, then. <laughs> So 
milk for tea later, maybe. <laughs> Fresh fuel. It's a little fairly tidy under there. We said that there was some brown somewhere. Let's see if the engine's warm. It's not warm, that is a good sign. Space in there for potential conversions. A decent amount of space. There we go. Even though it's an 80s car, it's got the 70s brown going on. Stuff underneath the panels of TVRs. Random key. Dodgy gear knob. No stereo. Who needs a stereo when you've probably got the most loud, loudest exhaust going? Oh my goodness, that key is for the glove box. Oh, that's like something out of something for my uh, shed key. Oh, and what we've got inside? Old Texas and some. Fuses. Oh, and a golf tee. I wonder what that's for. It's interesting. And there is the Compra ECU. And there's some sort of switch there. What the hell that is? Right, how's this? Look. Another roof mechanism. Oh. Speakers from the uh, certainly the 80s. Right, let's see if we can start her up. 71,818 miles. Let's see. Ooh, we have lights. Let's make sure it's not in gear. Actually, let's give it a go. Seriously, seriously loud. I'll turn it off there, I think. Right, we finally got it on the trailer with the help of our friend Alex. No problem. <laughs> so yeah, got it all tight, don't want it falling off. Ready to go back to Northamptonshire. What oh, a lovely day. It's probably going to be dark by the time we get it back. So yeah, we just about managed to get it on. Run out of fuel halfway up. And now uh, to its new home and new conversions. I don't want to record it while it's wiggling. <laughs> Sketchy enough as it is. It's 
sketchy car. <laughs> so the car is now at Northampton Motorsport just to uh, get the uh, poorly running V8 up to scratch so I can then get it MOT'd and uh, then we can take it to the necessary place to see if this Tesla motor is going to fit. But uh, I'll wait to see how they get on with it and uh, hopefully it will be very inexpensive to sort out, get it MOT'd and we can uh, move forward from there. Anyway, until the next update.